I'm not going to be on this too long. I was watching a press conference this morning of the father of this missing three-year-old boy. Now, as you see in back of me, you have the missing boy right here. And then the person of interest is right here. According to the article, the boy came up missing. Uh, well, actually, they found his mom's in a backyard dead. And then that's when the boy ended up missing. And they had the father um, on this press conference crying, basically crying out for help and asking why hadn't the police swamped the rivers or the water or did what they could to search for his son. And as I sat there and I watched this, the first question came to my mind was, where are all the black search teams after protesting Black Lives Matter, after attacking police, after chanting and shouting, defund the police, now that the police is at its bare minimum and you have law enforcement because of the pandemic, law enforcement are walking off the job because many of y'all are supporting that jab. But many officers are walking off their job. So the police force is quite thin and crime has increased. Why are you now asking help from the same people you wanted defunded? You guys are protesting F the police, but now you want these same law enforcement to help you. And another thought came to my mind is why is it that when there's a missing black person, you can't keep race out of it? You always have to bring up race and talk about how blacks don't trust the police. If blacks don't trust the police, why don't you have your own search team to look for your own people? Your mind should not be on racism. Your mind should not be on whether or not the black community trust law enforcement, your mind and concern should be 210% on your missing child. Now, if you feel that law enforcement is not doing the job, why did not you form a black search team to find your missing child? And another thing I find quite interesting, and like I mentioned in prior videos, if black people don't care about black people, what make you think white people are going to care about black people? The same people that you accuse of being racist and not liking you. The same white people that you want defunded. The same white people you said, F the police, defund the police. Now you want these same white people to show love and concern for your black child that you felt that law enforcement was trying to assassinate or kill. So you don't trust your children with police. Now, one other thing, and I don't mean for this video to go long because I meant this for this to be only about maybe five minutes, but the black community is always talking about no snitching and rats if you tell. A black person can be killed right in the black community and when police or investigators come around and ask you questions, you don't know nothing. You turn your head, I don't know nothing, I ain't see nothing. I'm blind, I'm blind, I can't see. I can't see, I can't see. But now that your child is missing, you expect those same law enforcement that wanted you to help find somebody else's child that was missing or trying to get information on who killed somebody else's child. You don't know nothing. You don't snitch. You're not a rat. 
Black people need to change. Until you start loving and caring about each other, don't expect no other other no don't expect no other race to care about you. If you're so concerned about police not caring and they're showing more concern for white people, then form your own search team. Look for your own black people. Since you love black people and say F the police and defund the police. And now you expect those same police to show concern and look for your child. Form your search team and you guys go out and look for your child. So that's all. I hope they find this three-year-old boy. Um, I don't wish this on nobody. But I just think that black people need to change your mind. They, you need to change the way you think, the way you see life. Because everybody is not your enemy. Every black person is not your enemy. Every white person is not your enemy. But then again, everybody is not your friend. And you have to have enough wisdom to weed out who's for and who's against you. And I'm going to leave you with this. Even your enemy can be a help to you. Sometimes your enemy will be your biggest help because inside their heart, they too are human and they have feelings. You know, I've seen it happen in life when the enemy, the one you saw as an enemy was the one that ended up helping you out. So feedback, tell me what you think. I hope they find this young boy, but you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't say F the police and defund the police and then you want the same police to come and help you when they're stretched thin. Law enforcement is, is stretched thin. And now you expect them to, now everybody got a rally and gather around you. You want the media to come out and help you and why ain't they helping us and they ain't helping us and they help white people. And okay, you need to leave race out of it and be more concerned about finding your child. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless. Woo-hoo!